Hi guys, this is a video on free video capture software. In this example, we're talking about recording from the webcam to the desktop as a file for free. Now, why would anyone want to do this? Well, I actually lost my installation disk for my webcam, and it had the driver and it had the software to record. And uh, now that the software is gone, I went out and looked for another one. I searched on Google for a free record webcam or something like that, I can't remember exactly. But all it came up with was screen recorders such as Bullent Screen Recorder, which is great for, uh, for recording other people's webcams, but when it comes to actually recording directly from the webcam, I couldn't do it. But then someone actually told me about a piece of software called Debut Video Capture, and it actually allows you to record. Now, I'm actually recording this preview with Cam Studio, so I can actually show you the software. So I'm just going to show the cursor, so you guys don't get confused about what I'm pointing at. Okay, so you can see that this is the video capture software box. This is free software to download, obviously, um, and you can see that it's a fairly simple box. And um, my video at the moment is in black and white. You can actually change the effects here. So you can see here I have video effects. You can change the brightness, the contrast, the gamma. Here I've got the apply filter. So if I take that off, you can see me in color. You can even have it show you in negative. Ooh, nice, you can see my spots, nice. <laughs> anyway, um, so you get sepia as well. So um, you can just change uh, some effects. And you can also add a watermark. So for example, I know people don't like me talking about it, but Mod3, so I can have that in the corner if I wanted to. Now you'll also notice when I was um, pointing over here, if I just close this, um, that you can have a variety of formats that you can actually save in. So you see WMV, ASF, MPEG, 3GP, MP4. So it's a bunch of things that you can record um, from your webcam or any other video source. So um, I don't know if you have a camcorder or anything else like that. Um, or I think um, as far as the home page shows, as you can see here, this is the home page. It says something about a USB video capture device. So you can actually record from, I think it is TV, VCRs, um, VHSs, old style. Um, I'm not sure if DVD does it or anything like that. But any, anything that you can get video from, it can record. Now, I know that XP has a snapshot feature um, in its My Computer, but Vista doesn't actually offer this. So if you don't have software to take a snapshot of yourself as a photo, um, then you can use this as well um, for Vista, because this actually works with Vista as well. And you can see that you can also record the screen. So it acts as a screen recorder as well and puts it into all these different formats. Now some other options include the encoding settings. You can see here that we have a bunch of different encoders, so um, depending on how far you want to compress or what specific compressor you want to do. For example, I use the DivX codec on Camp Studio, so I may want to choose the same one if I wish to join the files together, um, if I was to record something from here. And um, you have another option here to change the resolution and the frame rate, so you can have a custom resolution and frame rate. Now, you'll notice I said, um, I think I said, um, that I use it to record videos of myself which then go up to YouTube. Now, I know that video, um, sorry, YouTube has a quick capture feature, but that didn't work for me. The sound didn't come on at all, even though I know that the sound was working, and it just, it just didn't work, and it was doing it all streamed. And once you've done that, you can't edit it. It goes straight to YouTube, so you can't edit anything, so it's directly uploading, which isn't useful if you want to make edits to your files. So um, you can see here, that again, we've got a bunch of record options. You can change the video device, change the sound. As you can see here, I've got the default one, which is my, web, sorry, which is my um, microphone. And you can have a maximum recording time, minimize debut window when it starts. A bunch of other um, features, if you want it to go into the debut folder, all this stuff. You can actually send your recordings by email. So if you were to actually uh, make a video saying, I don't know, hi, mom. Um, how are you doing? I'm in France or something like that. Send it to her an, as an email. This can automatically do that for you. Or you can put it up to FTP. So if you want to put it on your website, then you can do that. Um, mirror recordings to this folder. So if you need to back it up, uh, run an external XE. So I assume you can like, automatically edit it once it's finished. Um, a couple of general options. I won't really bore you with that much. And you can add um, shortcut keys as well to start the recording. So um, you'll probably notice in my previous videos, when I started it, um, I know I've done a couple of videos. When I started it, it um, when, you, when you start the video, you'll notice it, it makes a sort of beeping noise. Um, as you can see here, we've got the sound. Uh, that's because I was using the software. It, show, it just shows a little beep at the beginning. That may be something to be aware of. But that's, um, that's the software that I've been using to record myself. 
And you can see here it shows you the frames per second. My video, um, sorry, my webcam isn't all that great, but as you can see, I'm getting 24 frames a second. And here we have the um, the timer. So um, once you've stopped, you can see that we've got the recordings option at the top. You just click that. Um, you can either open it, delete it, burn it to a CD, save it out, or play it. So if I double clicked it, you can see my webcam recording. And so that's about it really. It's um, very useful if you want to record um, yourself to the desktop through your webcam or any other device um, without having to pay anything and without using the proprietary, not proprietary, it's the software that comes with your webcam. Um, if you want to avoid using that, because sometimes they make it over, overly, overly branded, like, like um, but yeah, you know what I mean. So that's about it really, this is free video capture software. I'll provide the link in the description to the software where you can um, get it, download it for free, try it out. Uh, let me know what you think. So thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.